Okay, hello friends. Um, I'm in St. Peter's Church, just picking up a few bits for tomorrow morning's parish mass, which will be celebrated from my study at the rectory. And um, I just wanted to uh, show you that uh, my hair today, that um, St. Peter's Church is absolutely freezing because we have well, it's not freezing, but it's very cold because we have turned the heating off while we are not able to worship. Um, but I just wanted to um, share with you briefly, um, as I collect a few things, um, that our wonderful uh, parish church is still here. And um, I fully agree with the Archbishops of Canterbury and York and Bishop Christopher and I'm sure none of them or Archdeacon Jane would mind me just doing a little broadcast from the church to let you know that although the building is cold because the heating is off, um, it is still warm with our prayers um, because this is a spiritual home for us all. And although we are not in it, although it is empty, it is still here, and uh, I've had a, a look around and a check around the building, and all is well. And in a moment, I'm going to leave and head back to the rectory. Um, but the church is still here, and uh, in a moment, I am going to collect the Blessed Sacrament and bring it to St. Peter's Rectory, um, because... That's going to be the place where the parish mass is celebrated. And it feels right to do that, although it's extraordinary that these are extraordinary times. So, um, friends, let's be encouraged. And I have this great sense that once we are back in our beautiful church, we are going to have the most amazing celebration when we sing God's praises once again, all together in one place, that's going to be a day when we let the rafters shake with God's praise, whenever that day will be. It's going to be one of the biggest celebrations this parish has ever seen. We will sing the parish mass with great joy. We will process through the streets of our parish there will be fireworks and there will be feasting, spiritual feasting, but also I know there's going to be a huge feast, a huge celebration. So um, I couldn't resist just while I was here sending a quick uh, message to uh, remind us all of where we are going to be one day. For now, we can't offer our worship here together, but we will do. And um, once again, I urge you just to get ready because tomorrow is the Lord's day. The Lord is truly risen and we will celebrate the resurrection from our homes. And uh, I look forward to us all joining together via Facebook to do that. So um, the shopping trolley is ready, not for stockpiling food, but for bringing home the bits that I need to be able to celebrate mass together. And um, the, uh, the vestry here is quiet and silent, but it's ready for us when we return. Here is Bishop Christopher in the vestry. And uh, just to let you know that everything is uh, still as it should be, here is my very untidy study in church. And this reminds me of one thing, which is that I've decided this lovely bird box, which I bought not long after I became Rector of St. Peter's and hangs in my study. I'm going to bring that home to the rectory so that uh, I can remember where we are really called to be and offer our worship to God. So um, wherever you are right now, uh, I send you greetings and love and prayers from the Parish Church of St. Peter, Walworth. And um, whatever you're doing tomorrow, let's make this Sunday a really special one as we come into the season 
of Passion Tide and get ready for the last part of the holy season of Lent. So, God bless and um, enjoy this little glimpse of our beautiful church. And may St. Peter pray for us and watch over us, our Prince of Apostles. And may Blessed Mary and Jesus be with us all this evening. Good night, friends, and God bless each one of us. Amen.